Hi guys, it's Kimberly, and this is my nature's art haul. I told Kimberly that I would attempt a video, so let's see how this goes. Um, I already opened the box because there was just so much stuff that I could not do a proper unboxing without it being like 45 minutes long, and it being most of the time me trying to get the box open. So, um, I'm just going to go through, I already made stacks and just go through the stacks of what I got. And this first one is the Nymph Butter Bombs. Um, I actually cut one open so you could see it. Uh, this is... How do you pronounce it, babe? Tanriel, I think, but I could be wrong. Tanriel, we think we could be wrong. We've seen The Hobbit a bunch of times, which is sad. And this is going to be a glitter bomb. It is awesome, and they're huge, like... I could probably get two or three baths out of this. The first one is going in whole, though. And then I also got quite a few more of these. Um, tea Party, which is an awesome chai tea. It's one of my favorites. Uh, let's see. Another one of these ones. What's in the hookah, which is blackberry and lavender. And I hate lavender. But with the blackberry, it's so good. Um, I can't even quite describe it. It's a really sweet, herbaly smell, and it's really, really good. I love it. Um, you've all gone bananas, which I unfortunately fell in love with after she decided that I don't think this one's going to be available anymore. And it smells like banana pudding, and I just want to eat it. But, um... I'll have to hoard what I have of it. And White Queen, which is the absolute best honey almond you're ever going to find. It's a little different than a traditional honey almond, but it's delicious. And then I got two perfumes. Wicked and... Can I turn this? Are you going to turn? Love Potion number nine. And... These were new ones for me. I only got quick smells of them, but Wicked is, like, a really nice, like, ultra-smoky smell. It's, I love it. Um, I'm just hoping that it doesn't go masculine on me like most of these smells sometimes do. And then Love Potion number 9, which is, like, a really sexy perfume. That's the only way I can describe it. And then... This is a lotion bar, but I haven't opened it yet because I have two others open, and they are massive, and I'm still trying to use them. This is Vial, or Vial of Gladriel, and I got to smell this one. I got a scrub of it, and it smells so good. It smells like when you cut open a, um, a lemon to put it in your iced tea in the summer, like that sweet lemony smell, it's so good. And then over here, I have a hand model, hand model, show your pants, thank you. He's, <laughs> he's helping. Okay, thank you. I got a trail wild honey, which one is this? The double bubble scrub. This was new, this is like her whipped cream scrub, but it's more of the whipped soap, a little less of the scrub, which I like for summer because I like to use a scrub probably more than I should be using, so I'm hoping this will help. And hand model open that, please. That's what it looks like on top. It's super pretty. It's very yes, it's very sparkly. <laughs> And then we have, let's see, Vial of Gladriel. Uh, this is the tail polish, the mermaid tail polish. And this was new too. This is a sea salt scrub. I don't think my camera's quite picking up how pretty that looks. I'm excited to use this one. It looks really, really cool. And I've never seen another one quite like it, and it smells so good. Um, let's see. This one is another one I, 
I have so much trouble with this one, or pronouncing this one. And this is her goat's milk frosting, and I've never, thank you, I've never had this before, so I'm interested to see what it smells like, be, or what it, the texture's like, because I've never had it before. It is, it's nice. Stephen just says it's nice. Um, it is, it's a really light, almost body butter. It smells so good. I just wiped down my bed. Close up, please. Thank you. Let's see, this was the... That's Earth Spirit. This is one of Stephen's. And this is one that was discontinued, but it's coming back, I believe, and it might come back under a different name. And it smells like, it's an earthy smell, but it doesn't smell like woods. It smells like, like a clean meadow type smell. Steven's just laughing at me right now. Um... He just says, yeah, it's amazing. Um, I even like it, and I'm not usually one for earthy smells. There you go. This next one is, oh, you took all the lids off already. Thank you. <laughs> this is Morning in the Shire, and I got a honey shot in it. And this is a coffee scrub. And... I don't necessarily like, I like coffee, I don't like smelling like coffee, but this smells really good, like, if I had to smell like coffee, I would want to smell like this. And I haven't ever had a coffee scrub before, so I'm interested in trying this. Next one is, turning it, another one of these, and this is a... Whoops. Yeah, whip soap. And her whip soap is hands down the best one I've ever tried. Um, that's all I can really say about it. It's really fluffy. A little goes a long way. Like this container will probably last me a couple weeks because I also use her bar soaps, which I didn't get any in this haul and I'm kind of kicking myself for. And the last one is Earth Spirit, and this is the body frosting. And this is another one for Steven. That's his absolute favorite smell. It's the only indie anything he'll request. And these are the Loon um, wax tarts I got. I love Kim's wax tarts. They last forever, like a couple of days actually but they are one of the longest lasting wax tarts I've ever gotten and they throw like mad like one cents our entire house and then let's see these three were actually extras that she put in these are the new witch's powder bath salts and they smell so good it's the scent let's see Made Mother Crone, and it's a really, it's kind of like a powdery berry smell. It's so good. I think it's mulberry and musk. So good. I'm excited to use these, but I'm going to be trying one of the bombs tonight, indefinitely. And she also put in a vanilla bean uh, soap bar sample, which I don't like vanilla bean. I don't like vanilla on its own, but this is not like a normal vanilla. This is like a smoky, sexy vanilla, and I'm super excited to try this, and I hope she brings something back in it so I can grab it up. And then Miss Kimberly always puts candy in her orders. It's really sweet, and usually Stephen steals it. And then the last... Oh no, second to last group of things is the bath truffles, and I love bath truffles, that's how I end up with this many, and I get at least two baths out of each container, so four baths per pack, which is a really good deal, and these I got 
Heart of a Mermaid, which there's two packs of these, and it's a really clean, oceany smell. It's like, I can't, you can imagine yourself in the ocean when you use these. These are so good. And there's another one similar to it, but this one is better, and anybody who buys Indie probably knows what similar one I'm talking about. And then, more Tea Party. This is, like I said, one of my favorites. They, it's just so good. It's, I have three cents tied for my favorite, just flat out. Uh, Morgan Bananas, which, I'm gonna hoard these. Wicked, which was one of the new ones. This is the one that's like the smoky altar smoke. Smoky altar smoke, that sounded great. Um, smell, it's, I love it. Um, it's probably going to be one of my new favorites, because it's different from the other ones I've liked so far. And, Vial of Gladrio, which, uh, another one that's so good. This one's probably going to be my favorite for summer, because it's just, it's a fresh, fruity smell. It's so good. And then, the last three, which is actually probably one of my favorite products, too, are the body, what does she call these? The Hydrating Body Mists. And, flat out, I usually don't like body mists. I just, they don't do anything for me. I, I like smelling good, of course, but I want something that does something for my skin, too. Like, if I'm taking the time to put something on, I want it to do something for my skin. And body sprays usually just don't, and the scent usually fades. These are nothing like that. They they last, first of all. The scent on them lasts forever. And they are coconut oil-based. So, it's almost like a spray-on lotion of sorts. I mean, it's not really like a lotion, but after you use them, you feel really soft. And it actually feels like they're doing something for your skin, which they are. They are fantastic. And... I got what's in the hookah, because I did not have enough of this, just flat out I needed more of this and everything. Um, more of this one. <laughs> oh, God. Um, and Tea Party. And I said Tea Party is also one of my favorites. So that's everything, except for this giant pile of tissue paper that I ravaged when the mailman came. Oh, and just one other little tidbit of information. Um, the perfume oils, they come, first of all, they're so well, well, yeah, well wrapped, they're bubble wrapped, but they have electrical tape around the cap. Take the electrical tape off before you try to open it, because I didn't, and I spent like 20 minutes trying to get the cap off and wondering why it wasn't coming off and if Kim was like the Hulk of closing bottles. <laughs> so that's everything. Thank you guys. I hope you all get your haul soon.